Hello Woodgate, today is Tuesday, January 16th. I'm Weston. And I'm Cannon. We're excited to be your news crew for this six weeks. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. Students, remember we have several UIL, that are UIL teams that are working hard. Don't forget to attend your practices this week. Now for a message from our principal. Hey everybody, Dr. Pena here. And you know, I've been thinking about our three words. One of our words, if you remember, is leadership. The hope here at Woodgate is to help you all develop into the leaders that we know you can be. And there is a way that you have been doing that these first few days, this second semester here in January, and I just want to say thank you. January is a time where we get a lot of new students. So we're getting students from all over the country, all over the state. They're coming into the Waco area, and many of them are landing here at Woodgate Intermediate. Now, it's tough being a new student at a new school. You're wondering, is anybody going to talk to me? I don't know the procedures. I don't even know my way around the building. It's kind of a scary thing. But you know what? Woodgate, you have really been stepping up. I've been noticing that both boys and girls, you're coming together and you're being leaders. You're helping our new students to feel welcome. You're showing them around. You're answering questions. I really appreciate that. You know, I remember I was a new student twice when I was growing up. One time in second grade and another time in the eighth grade. Now, I have specific a specific memory about a kid at each grade level who really made a difference in my life. When I walked into that second grade class, the teacher introduced me to a kid and his name was Aaron Flowers. Aaron Flowers to this day, and I'm an old guy, I still remember Aaron Flowers' name because he became my friend, he made sure I had somebody to talk to, he made sure that I felt welcome. Now fast forward to eighth grade, again, we had moved, I went to a new school in the middle of the year, and I met a guy, his name was, now get ready, weird name, Theophilos Demos. Theophilos, we called him Theo, also changed my life because he just came up to me, he asked me who I was, and he wanted to be my friend. Those two kids have a special place in my memory and in my heart because they made a difference in my life in that scary transitional time when I was a new kid. They came in, they made me feel welcome. Now you can be an Aaron Flowers or a Theophilos Demos to some of our new students. Thank you for those of you who are already making a difference Keep up the great work and keep learning how to be awesome leaders. Hi, I'm Shaden. And I'm Tyler. Now that we're back in school, remember to update your iPad and to check Schoology for technology messages and notes from your counselor. I hope you read a lot over the holidays. We have a Tuesday book talk about Dork Diaries. My name is Murphy Odebeke and I'm going to be telling you about, talking to you about the book Dark Diaries tell from the not so glam TV star. I think girl, I think girls who like girly books should read this book because it's about um, this girl Nikki, and um, she gets VIP tickets to see um, her favorite um, glam TV star, and she she. Um, and then her enemy Mackenzie is also there, so she steals the VIP tickets. And then um, you can read the book to find out what happens next. 
And for those who really like to read a lot, Miss Hare is meeting with students interested in Name That Book competition on Wednesday and Thursday during wind time. Have a terrific Tuesday, Woodgate!